basically, I'm off to pick up a Sega Mega Drive for 20 bucks, Gumtree pickup. Uh, no cables, no games, no controllers, no nothing. But yeah, I thought I'd use my Galaxy S3 as a recording device and, uh, you know, just film my exploits of me going there, basically. I, I don't know if this is going to work or not. So this is a test video. If it's shit, just regard it, disregard it. I'll never make another one, um, you know, we'll just forget all about it, we'll bury it in a hole. But yeah, um, so I'm about to drive, well, first I'm off to the ATM to pick up all the money I am going to need to pay for this, all the riches in the world. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the ATM doesn't break with all the money I'm going to be getting out. But, yeah, let's get going. So here we are, hopefully I'm in focus, hopefully. Um, on the way here I saw a man with a fantastic mustache and I smelled someone who smelled incredibly like cherry coke. But I got the cash out, don't you worry. It's in my pocket somewhere. All these riches, it's weighing my wallet down. Oh God, oh. Cut, need to do more bicep exercises. Ah, 20 bucks. Yeah, that's how much I'm paying for the Mega Drive, 20 bucks. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, obviously, it doesn't come with anything, but supposedly it works. I mean, shit, even a Mega Drive for 20 bucks that didn't work, it'd still be an okay deal. I'd just probably try and fix it and probably fail, but, you know, it's all, it's all in trying. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess next time you'll see me, I'll have the Mega Drive, hopefully. I can't really figure out a way to film and drive at the same time, especially since in this state it's illegal to hold a phone and drive, so, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, right, pit stop. We'll be back to the vlog in a minute. Oh. Side note. Does McDonald's have the best fries? I think these fucking things so fucking good. Yes. <clears throat> here we are, here we are. I was just uh, eating some McDonald's in my car for the pit stop, and there's some people in the car next to me also eating their food, so hopefully they're, they're not looking at me and thinking I'm some kind of weirdo just talking to myself. But then again, if they are, if they do think that, maybe they'll leave me alone. <sighs> but yeah, it's a funny side note, I was in the drive-thru to, you know, buy the McDonald's and I go through the drive-thru and the, the person on the other end, you know, was quite impatient. She was like, what do you want, what do you want, you know, and I was just like, ah, ah, cheeseburger, just give me a cheeseburger. And then I was like, okay, just cheeseburger value meal, and she's like, oh, is that all? I'm like, oh well, yeah, you know. Can't sit around eating all day, I've got Mega Drive to play. Speaking of Mega Drive... There it is. Yes, 20 bucks. Look how good condition it is as well. All the buttons. Well, they don't work when they're on a slope. But I'm sure they work in, uh, in a practical sense when I turn it on. So yeah, I think, I think I'm just rambling a bit now. So maybe I should stop, but I'm thinking I'm going to go off to some sort of... Uh, thrift store. A whole lot of them, but probably only two, and see if I can find some cables. Um, if not, I'll probably just have to go on eBay, and I'll be able to turn it on in like a week or so. So yeah, I'll see you in an another jump cut, I guess. Okay, so I've just been to three thrift stores. Um, I know I said to two, but I thought, ah, it's my day off, oh, fuck it. So yeah, I went to three, and I bought three games. Um, actually, I went to an op shop as well. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, in all three shops, I was trying to find power cables and video cables for the console as well. Um, I just realised that there is an RCA output on the Sega Mega Drive, so I've been I've been using an RCA cable for my Atari ST. So hopefully, I can just use that. And now I'm just kind of hunting for a power adapter. I may have one at home that's compatible, like a universal one, but I'm not sure. I think I just might buy one anyway. I've just been to an electronic shop, but I'll just go to another one. Um, I just went to this thrift store just then and you know, I said, oh, do you have any Sega Mega Drive video or audio cables? And they, they, they recommended that I go to EB Games, um, so, yeah. I don't think they've realised what a Mega Drive is. There was quite a lot of, like, AV cables and power adapters behind them, but they're like old ladies running the store, so I don't really think they know what they're... what I was talking about. Anyway, let's look at the games I bought. Uh, so I went to a, uh, another thrift store. Whoa. And um, found columns for five bucks. You know, columns is kind of just one of those uh, one of those games. You know, one of the essentials for the Mega Drive. 
So, yeah, that's pretty cool, but uh, sadly they didn't, they had a $10 FPOS minimum at the place, you know, because apparently they exist in, you know, 1993 or something. I wish it was, the FPOS was around there. Oh, it doesn't matter. So I went and got this one as well called uh, Flicky. Uh, this one costs 8 bucks, but since I bought the two, they, they, they sold it to me for 10 so good on them, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, and also, I have one in my ashtray, because that's how fucking good it is now. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Aladdin for the Game Boy. Five bucks from a, a good Sammy's or something. It was actually next to the car park for the McDonald's for a while, so, you know, why not? It used to be Mc, McIn's or something, McIn's. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to try out that uh, other power. That uh, What am I saying? It's too hot. I'm going to try that other electronic store and uh, see if I can get a power adapter. If not, I'll just wing it and go home and we'll go from there. My god, this fucking mess. Never mind that. I managed to get home um, and I went to another electronics store, like I said I would, and unfortunately I couldn't find a power adapter that uh, works with this beautiful piece of hardware. Um, and I don't have any at home that do either. Uh, weirdly, it, it's kind of weird. It runs off 10 volts, 1.2 amps, and most power adapters I can find, uh, they go from uh, 9 volts and then they just jump up to 12 volts. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go, go and buy one of those online and have to wait a while for one of those to come in. So that kind of sucks, but you know, I'll get there in the end, I guess. Um, yeah, and you probably just saw a video of me just getting something out of my mailbox package. Uh, that turned out to be this. A Super Game Boy. Uh, the real reason I bought this for, is so I could uh, record uh, videos of me playing Game Boy games, of course, uh, for my reviews. I was going to... Uh, make a review not too long ago, um, I ended up doing Road Rash instead, but I was going to do a Game Boy game and I was actually just filming the uh, Nintendo SP screen as it was record, you know, as I was playing and it, it looked like shit, so yeah, hopefully that, that will add some quality to my videos because <laughs> it needs that. Uh, but uh, yeah, funnily enough, um, I filmed myself getting the package out of the mailbox, I didn't actually know it was there, I guessed. I've bought so much stuff off eBay that I seem to have some sort of spidey sense that uh, tingles and I, I know that I have something in my mailbox. So that's cool, it's a, a cool feature to have in my brain, so yeah. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the end of the video, hopefully I'm in focus. End of the vlog, uh, tell me what you thought, think of this vlog, because it's a trial really, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing these. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's it I guess, bye!